The next palette I'm going to talk about is the Zorn palette. And the Zorn palette consists of just three colors and white again. And the colors are either black or Payne's Gray. And I love Payne's Gray because there's a bit of blue in that color mix of Payne's Gray, which you can pull in your mixes. And you'll see what I mean. There's Payne's Gray, Yellow Ochre, and Cadmium Red. Those are the three colors that you are um, going to do all your mixes in. And this little portrait here has been done with a Zorn palette. I've only used those three. So I managed to pull with the yellow ochre and the very black looking um, Payne's Grey. I managed to pull a green out of it. And you can see green undertones in some of the mixes. But there's a lot more you can get from it and I'm going to show you examples now of how amazing the Zorn palette is. Here are some mixes that I've done with the Zorn palette and the Zorn palette's got the Payne's Grey which looks very black and the Cadmium Red of course, Yellow Ochre and White. And just have a look, just fiddling here with different mixes. I've got such a beautiful array of mixes here. And I want you to look at the purples. I was actually quite s surprised at how many different sort of aubergine purpley colors I got. And also look at those beautiful, beautiful greens. And going back to the skin colors, all the tones that you could use. Imagine adding thousands more hues and tones I could get. It's not just these. These were just a little sample. And... Um, then look down here to these beautiful blues and I put the red there because in contrast relative to um, that red next to it these blues are so beautiful just as the greens in contrast to the red just look so stunning but if I were to show you a pure green notice how suddenly what was beautiful greens relative to the pure green they look like rather dirty, khaki, browny greens, not very appealing at all. And then going across to our beautiful, beautiful blues, we put it next to the red and gosh, they look beautiful. But now compare it to the relatively saturated blue. Our Zone Mix blues are no longer looking fresh and blue. They just look like fairly dull greys, don't they? So... A colour is only a colour relative to the colour next to it. So because we're next to the bright blue, how grey they look. I'll just whiz you over here again and then take you back to the blue. I just want you to get a couple of those lovely colours there. And then come back to the blue. And next to the red, they go blue again. Just look at that. And next to the red, it's green. It's a fabulous color palette uh, to get subtle colors with, certainly with portraits, but not really ideal for a summer landscape. Because although those greens are subtle and stunning, they're not the kind of greens you need for really green grass and so on. So that's the Zorn palette. painting of the three boys with the chickens you'll see some lovely blue brush strokes blue greens and even mauve on the little boy on the left 
Now just to get these colors, I'll tell you that you need to take the black uh, or Payne's Gray and add a little white to it. Keep your palette knife very clean and then you'll get that lovely blue gray. And if you want to mix the green, you take the black again or the Payne's Gray and you touch it in with a little bit of yellow ochre and the white and you will get that smoky, subtle avocado green color. And if you want the mauve, you do the blue again, the bluey gray color, which is the black and the white, and you just touch a little bit of red into that mix and it, you'll get a mauvey hue. Um, and all of these colors are in this painting, which is important because it's a very warm palette with the red and the yellow ochre, and now you still have some beautiful, cool hues.